Six signs that Jesus will come back to earth soon. Earthquakes, famines, plagues, and wars. Have these tumultuous events become the unmistakable signs of Jesus' second coming? As the world grapples with unprecedented challenges, it's time to examine the undeniable indicators that point towards a significant turning point in human history. In recent years, we've witnessed a series of remarkable events that align with ancient prophecies. Wars such as the fall of the Taliban, India-Pakistan tensions, and conflicts in the Middle East continue to escalate. Devastating plagues, fires, storms, and earthquakes have left a trail of destruction in their wake. And let's not forget the intriguing novel coronavirus that emerged from Wuhan, China, rapidly engulfing the entire globe. But are these signs mere coincidences or a profound fulfillment of ancient predictions? Join us as we delve into the compelling evidence that suggests Jesus' second coming is closer than we realize. First sign, earthquakes, famines, plagues, and wars. In the past few years, there have been many wars, such as the fall of the Taliban government in Afghanistan, the fight between India and Pakistan, the U.S. attack on Iraq, and the conflict between Israel and Palestine, which keeps getting worse. There are also plagues, fires, storms, and earthquakes everywhere. The novel coronavirus, which started in Wuhan, China in 2019, has since spread all over the world, is especially intriguing. In September 2019, there were also big bushfires in Australia. On the other side of the world, in East Africa, locusts caused a big problem, and now many countries are facing hunger. In January 2020, Indonesia was hit by a flood and Canada's Newfoundland was hit by a snowstorm that only happens once every 100 years. There have been earthquakes in Alazig, Turkey, the southern part of Cuba in the Caribbean, and other places. From these signs, it's clear that this prediction has come true. Second sign, strange things happen in the sky. Before the great and terrible day of Jehovah comes, the sun will become dark and the moon will turn red. In recent years, the moon has turned blood red on many occasions. For example, there were four blood moons in the years between 2014 and 2015. And on January 31st, 2018, there was a super blue blood moon, which only happens once every 150 years. Then, in January 2019, a super blood wolf moon came out. The blackening of the sun, which was also predicted, has happened, and there have been many total solar eclipses, like the one in Singapore on December 26, 2019, and the one in Chile on July 2, 2019. All of these things show that this promise is coming true. Third sign, churches are empty and people's love for each other has grown cold. Desolation is spreading throughout the whole Christian world. Pastors and leaders are talking about the same things over and over, which is getting old and not helping people. Some pastors are trying to get ahead by forming cliques and factions in the churches, and some have even gone into business by setting up factories to lead believers down a secular path. In the meantime, most believers lack confidence and don't want to leave the world, so they get caught up in all of its problems. From the outside, some churches look busy and full, but many people only go to church to meet new people and sell things. They use the church as a place of business. How is a church today different from the temple at the end of the age of law? All of these things show that this promise about the Lord's return has come true. Fourth sign, the rise of false Christs. From the Lord's promise, we can see when the Lord comes back, people will be fooled by these false Christs. People in countries like China, South Korea, and Japan have been fooled by fake Christs in the past few years. These fake Christs don't have the spirit of Christ, and they can't tell the truth, but they say they are Christ and trick people by doing wonders like the Lord Jesus. Here, it's clear that this forecast has come true. 
Fifth sign, the return of Israel. Many people who believe in the Lord know that the soft stems and leaves of the fig tree are a symbol of the return of Israel. When Israel is rebuilt, the Lord's day will be close at hand. On May 14, 1948, Israel was rebuilt. Clearly, this promise about the Lord's return has come true in every way. Sixth sign, the spread of the gospel to the ends of the earth. After Jesus was raised from the dead and went to heaven, the Holy Spirit started to lead those who follow Jesus to see Jesus. Christians are now found all over the world and many democracies have made Christianity their own faith. Even in China, where the party in power is godless, tens of millions of people have accepted the gospel of the Lord Jesus. This shows that the gospel of mankind's salvation through the Lord Jesus has spread all over the world. In this way, it is clear that the promise about the return of the Lord has come true. How should we prepare for the Lord's return? From what we've talked about so far, we can see that the six signs of Lord's return have already shown up. Now is the most important time to get ready for the Lord's return. What must we do before we can be ready for the Lord to come back? The Lord Jesus answered this question for us a long time ago. Those who, after hearing God speak and recognizing His voice, accept Him and submit to Him will be able to welcome the Lord and go to the feast of the Lamb. On the other hand, those who do not recognize the voice of God will not be God's sheep, and God will find them out and get rid of them. When we wait for the Lord's return, it's clear that we need to find the Holy Spirit's words in the churches and learn to hear what God is saying. Almighty God says, since we are looking for God's footprints, we should also look for God's will, His words, and what He says, because wherever God speaks new words, God's voice is there. And wherever God's footprints are, God's works are there. Wherever the expression of God is, there God is. And where God is, there is truth, the way, and the life. As we reflect on the signs and wonders unfolding before our eyes, let us pause and ponder. Could the darkening of the sun and the moon turning red be more than mere astronomical phenomena? Will you recognize the voice of God amidst the chaos? Will you be among the wise who embraces His words and follows the footsteps of the Lamb? We invite you to like, subscribe, and join our community as we explore the signs of Jesus' second coming. Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay connected to receive future updates. Remember, the time is now. The signs are all around us. Are you prepared for the imminent return of our Savior?